I can just look at you though, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'm here. Well, welcome home and away fans. I'm here at uh, Supernova Sydney 2023 with uh, Matt Doran from Home and Away. He played uh, Damien Roberts, Irene's youngest son. That's right, the forgotten son. The yep. forgotten son, yeah. She cares about all these other kids now and doesn't care at all about her own. Yeah, we, ne- we never we never hear any, anything about... What about, about... What about Damien? What about yeah. those guys? Yeah, uh, we, nev- we never hear anything about Irene's uh, kids we, we had the, we, had the, we had the alcoholic mother, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Now that she's all squeaky clean, and now she, she, doesn't, she doesn't want to know yeah. about her kids. We never hear... It's probably our fault, you know? We, ne- we never hear about well, Damien joined the priesthood, so God knows what happened to yeah. him, right? You know? Yeah, and he uh, become a bit of a, a hippie priest. Somewhere in the Within. commune, somewhere like in Waco. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just wanted to quickly ask you, um, how did you get your role on Home and Away? Uh, well, with Home and Away, uh, like many jobs, you go through the audition process. Um, I, I, I think that was very that was very early in my career. Um, I started acting when I was probably. 13 years old and I think I got home and away when I was 15 16 but I had actually previously auditioned for other roles on home and away like other guest roles okay. and didn't get those because no, right. it's obviously a any, any of the major characters you no 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 that were just, just like a, a guest. It was just a, a guest role right, yeah. um, like, like as I said like the big guest role would pop up here and there yeah. and you're going for the audition whether you're right for it or, yeah. or you know, then it would either go your way or someone else's way and yeah. a lot of those roles went the other way and then the one that I happened to get was the Damien role yeah. but originally that started off as a as a guest role as well. Yeah. Tina Thompson's character was obviously a, a, one of the core cast, yeah. and the original story was well, when I, my guest role story was was that uh, she also had a brother, yeah. and that she had this alcoholic. She had two Irene, brothers. She had two then, brothers. No, sorry, yeah, two, two brothers. brothers yeah. But then, but uh, that wasn't really mentioned but, either. And no, yeah. Nathan much, was Nathan was originally in jail. That's right. And then he but got again, released. that wasn't mentioned until later. So no. when I first started on the show, we didn't even really know that we had another, had another, another brother. Another brother. Yeah. You know what these shows are like. Yeah. They can just come up with anything. Whatever they want. Yeah, they can come up with anything. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I did the guest role, and then we got... Actually, this, this is the story. So I, I do the guest role, and then about four or five months later, Terminator 2 gets released. I go watch that movie with my dad that night, yeah. and you know what it's like when you yeah. see a great movie, you come yeah. out all, all just buzzed, and you're like, yeah. man, that was amazing, and it's like, thanks dad for taking me to see that movie, I had a great time, came home that night, and then on the answering machine, this is how long ago it was, yeah. on the answering machine, there was a message from my agent saying that they want to extend the role on Home and Away and turn the, the Damien role into yeah. a uh, a permanent cast yeah. member, uh, which was going to be a two-year contract. And so I came out of Terminator 2, already on Cloud 9, yeah. and then shot up to, like, well, even, even the stratosphere, higher. basically. I was so excited. Yeah. So that's how that, that role came about. Right, right. Now, uh, you had some really great cast members to work with. Um, Dita Brummer, Melissa George, yeah. Tina Thompson, even Laura Vasquez. Oh, what, were, what were they all yeah, like? Bazzy, yeah, 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 and yeah, she's a she's a makeup. The tugster, you know. It was like, yeah. I mean, well, you know, I don't really, I don't watch the show now, but going, I mean, cause it's been that long now. I guess for the fans, I don't know whether they would consider that era. Like, it, was, it seems like it was kind of like the, uh, the golden era. Uh, uh, way because. And even when I started, you still had characters like Nicole Dixon's character, Rebecca Elmoglu's character, the, the Pippa character. There were all these characters that I was really buzzed about meeting. Like, I, when, I, when I first started on the show, I couldn't believe that I was sitting in the green room with all of these other actors who I hadn't seen so much of on the, on the television. Uh, so it was, a, it was a pinch yourself moment and a, and a, and a, a great opportunity to... Um, to work with such an amazing bunch of people yeah. and at such a young age as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah my favourite is uh, Tina and Laura. Oh, they're your favourites, yeah, yeah. are they? Uh, yeah. uh, Tina's my, always been my number one 
she's my number one. Not as well. Yeah, yeah, she's you're still good one. friends I know, with her. Like, like I know she's my sister, but yeah. she's still my number one. <laughs> yeah. You're still good friends with her too, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Still keep in touch with her. Yeah. Um, I think she does acting school or does something, does she? She does, yeah, with her husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In Queensland. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's lovely to, uh, to, to catch up with her and reminisce about. Yeah old times and also just catch up and you know because she's yeah. got a family I've yeah. got a family and we just you know generally have a well, chat about now for the times. people that don't know can you quickly tell us uh, what other roles you've done since Home and Away since Home and Away I then moved on to two uh, was lucky enough to be a part of this film the uh, Thin Red Line which is a World War 2 film directed yeah. by Terence Malick um, so got the Hangout and Flame War Games uh, for, for about six months, which was very interesting. Um, and then after that, went on to do The Matrix, played Mouse in The Matrix. And then from uh, there, went on to do a role in Star Wars, Attack of the Clones. Yeah. That's a screenshot the on the film there. The, the desk I'm desk your, uh, local... Uh, drug dealer, yeah. intergalactic <laughs> drug dealer, the death sticks guy. If you want to buy some death sticks? Yes. And, uh, and then Obi Wan sent you. Obi Wan Kenobi sent you on your way with a bit of. He does. He, he does the bit Jedi of, mind bit trick of mind, on me. Mind control. Jedi, Jedi mind, mind control. control. And no one can escape the Jedi mind. No. Trick, you know? <laughs> I still haven't felt the same since. Yeah. And so, do you think um, Home and Away was a good um, starting Absolutely. thing for well, it's, it's to a, get into uh, acting? Uh, and I mean that's. Everyone would know that's going to watch this. I mean, yeah. the, the amount of actors that have come through Home and Away and moved yeah. on to been a lot of famous ones, hasn't it? Huge careers. I mean, you don't you don't really get anything that's shot at such a fast pace. And I actually still have dreams every so often that I'm on the set of Home and Away, and I the, 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 the nightmare is, is that I don't remember my lines. I can't remember my lines. Oh, right, yeah. Or I've studied the wrong lines or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think my busiest day on set in Home and Away would have been like one day in the studio we shot. It would have been like 23, 24 scenes in yeah. one day. So oh, yeah. literally get in the studio at uh, you know, 6 in the morning, start, finish at 6 o'clock at night, so a 12-hour day, and was literally in every single scene. And right. that's how many scenes they'll shoot yeah. in, in a day in the studio. So, you know, a film, you're normally looking at shooting maybe four to five minutes worth of screen time. If you're lucky yeah. in a day in the studio, you're doing almost like half an hour's worth of screen time. It's incredibly, it's, it's a lot and very very fast yeah. so sometimes you'd have to learn a hell of a lot of dialogue in yeah. a short amount of time and then you don't really get to spend that much time on the scenes and it's just you bang 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 through it so that, that that's yeah, it's, and, and also hitting your marks, learning to work with three cameras, hitting yeah. your marks for lighting and everything like that, making sure you're not getting masked by the other actors, always one in the lens. It's, you couldn't get a better training ground than something like Home the Way or yeah. Neighbours. And one last question, do you have a um, particular favourite scene or anything that you did on Home and Away that, you really, that really comes to mind? Uh, uh, I have a gun. There, was a, there were a lot of favourite moments, but yeah. I think probably one of the cringiest moments, which is not what you asked me at all, but yeah. so I'm a terrible runner. Right. Like, you know, I'm not a great runner, and then they're like, we've got this great storyline for a debut, and I'm like, what is it? It's like, well, you're a runner. Yeah. You get into running, <laughs> you're running to the woods. Oh, I think I remember that, yeah. And, and, and Chris McQuay played this, I can't remember what the character's name yeah. was. She and you went that. in a marathon or something, I think? Yeah, I went in a oh, Yeah, marathon. I remember. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I meant to win the marathon. And when yeah. we're shooting the mar- like the, the run, yeah. I'm like, like I said, not a good runner. And you had all the extras that were running. And I literally had to say, look, pull up a bit, man. Pull yeah. up a bit. I'm going to win. I'm going to win the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I won the race, but I didn't really win it. If you no, know what I mean. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thanks very much for that. Oh, my pleasure. And, my well, pleasure. Ho- hopefully we might see you one day again. Uh, might, know, might, we might Damien, see. Might see. still out there, travelling the world like Kung Fu. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never hear from Irene's kids anymore. Maybe she should. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks for that.